Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my first finale for this year and that is the Pandas Eyeshadows finale. I kind of was thinking this over a little bit and I realized that since I will be traveling for three and a half weeks within the next month or so, uh, there wasn't really a point in keeping this project going because I'm not gonna bring five different palettes with me just for the one eyeshadow that is in them that I still want to try and hit pan on in this last month of the year. Normally I kind of like take a break around this time for a month anyway and this month or this time I guess it's gonna be at this point of the year. It may have been the same last year actually but uh, normally I guess I film my intro kind of towards the end of December and then start working on them once I've kind of wrapped up my pen that palette <laughs> for the year so I guess it's not that much different from other years now that I'm thinking about it but finale yeah I wasn't really thinking that true uh, when I was doing my last update but it was my last update so what I've done this month is really focus in on these last few shadows knowing that I wouldn't be working on them anymore in the next month and I would have more time to focus on my panda palette throughout that month so let's take a look at how I've been doing starting off with the least interesting one out of the five that are in here because I'm working on five randomly rolled eyeshadows from a excel spreadsheet that I have um, with everything listed in there the Sephora palette in here I was working on the light blue shade at the top or in this case bottom right here and I have only used this one twice bringing me to a total of seven uses for this one and the mirror is definitely <laughs> reflecting some light on my face um, yeah I just knew that it would be really hard for me to actually hit pan on this one while still wanting to focus in a little bit at least on my panda palette I hit pan on one of the shades in here already and I think it took me like at least 25 or so uses to hit pan on that one so I knew that it was gonna take me pretty much another 20 uses and I did not want to use that light blue shade 20 more times so I did it two times and then I decided you know what I'm gonna focus in on these other ones and uh, just put this one to the side for now so that is that one <laughs> I've got one big palette laying here and I don't want to put it on top because I'm gonna to have to grab it later on. Okay, I'm gonna go in order... Uh, okay, yeah, let's go in. I'm gonna go in order of when I uh, rolled these in. So this palette and the Catrice palette that I'm gonna show you uh, after this one have rolled in three months ago if I'm correct. Well, four months ago even. <laughs> This is the Coastal Sense Creative Me number two palette, and in this one, I've been working on the lilac shade right here. And as you might be able to tell, I have hit pan. You'll definitely be able to see in the close up, but I think it's there. Uh, I did hit pan. It took me another six uses on this one, which wasn't too bad, but I definitely could see a bit of a dip in here already. I knew it had taken me like somewhere between, well, let's say 20 to 30 uses on these other ones in here they had pan on them and this time it took me with an additional six uses 21 times in total normally i do about five uses every month on these to make sure that i can still make progress on my pen up palette as well and like with that one extra use i managed to hit pan so 21 uses per pan on that one and now i have pan in four shades in here which is pretty nice and then we have the Catrice palette right here. Uh, I had not hit pan in any of these type of palettes yet, so I didn't really know how long it was going to take me to hit pan in anything in here. And, okay, I don't know if you can see this one from here, but I also managed to hit pan in this one. It's also been in for four months now, and it took me another 11 uses to hit pan on it. I've been using it as a eyeliner pretty much all the time, which is why, like, it's a really targeted pan there as well there's like just this one really straight dip and that's it but it was nice to be able to get a bit of an idea of how deep the pans in this palette were 26 uses is not too bad but of course because it was really targeted i'm expecting the other shades to take a little bit longer if i would ever get to panning those <laughs> specifically um yeah so 
once I was using this, I wasn't using the black that I'm, I was initially hoping to finish off this year as well, but I've kind of given up on that maybe because I think I'm going to be really close, but I don't think I'm going to get there all the way. Also not with those 11 uses that I spent on this guy um, over the last month. But 26 uses they found on that one is not too bad. It's one of those cake eyeliners, so I felt like... I, I just didn't really feel like trying to use it in any other way. Also because of the color, uh, the type of color it is, I would use it in a similar place as one of my other pendant palette shades. And I just want to make some progress on those shades as much as possible as well. So using it as an eyeliner just made sense. So that's that one, 26 uses, and I've hit pen. Then I had, let's see, my 88 palettes. This one rolled in three months ago. And I was working on, where's the opening here, on the brown shade number 88 in the palette right here. I might rearrange this palette at some point because I am pretty sure they're not in the right order. I'm, I, I've thought about looking up a proper picture of this palette online and rearranging the colors accordingly for as far as I could see they should be. Uh, but I haven't really gotten to that yet. So maybe it won't be number 88 anymore because I feel like this shade is a lot darker and might actually belong there. But um, yeah, if that doesn't make any sense, what I'm saying right here, a lot of these are loose in here. And at a certain point, they've kind of came out. And uh, yeah, I did put all of them back, but probably not all of them in the right place, which is also why I'm holding it not like all the way up straight. But anyway, I was working on that one. I used it now 10 times. Yes, yes, <laughs> to hit pan on it. So those 10 uses brought me to a total of 20 uses for me to hit pan on that one. Uh, I did hit pan on this guy earlier this year in this project as well. And I think that took me a little bit more uses, but uh, yeah, we've hit two pans in this palette this year and I've got four in total now. One that I've already hit a long time ago and one that I'm pretty sure I did not hit, but that kind of just got destroyed one way or another at some point. So anyway, that's that one. And then lastly, my focus palette this year uh, when it comes to my Panasonic eye shadows. And that's something that I really like doing. So I'm definitely thinking about doing that again next year. My NYX Strike a Pose palette. And I was working on the green shade in here, this one. And I did manage to hit pen in this one yesterday. Today's the 18th. So I would have had like a few more days because I normally try to fin film this around the 20th. Um, I would have had a few more days, but now I could film it on the Saturday, which is nice because schedule-wise that just works out better for me. So an additional 10 uses for me to hit pan on this one this month as well. Rolled it in two months ago, 15 uses in total, so that's definitely not too bad. Like out of all the shades in here, 15 is kind of the lowest. Uh, the shades in here are kind of around the 20 mark normally that I hit pan, but I think I've already used the green shade a little bit before. so. It was more than 15 uses to hit pan that since i started this project it's been 15 uses and that means that in this palette especially after focusing in on some more shades this year i only do not have pan in the black which i was expecting and in this like golden brownish shade right here and well i might just roll this one in again next year try to hit pan on this guy and then um, focus on something else because I really liked the focus palette. So I think I'm gonna do that again next year as well. Um, so yeah, I hit pan on four new shades this month, which shows you like if I really want to, I can definitely make a lot more progress in these shades, but my panda palette will always be my main focus. So with the five uses, it's something that I can do. Now I have been thinking about this project and how I wanna do it next year. and my thinking is that I want to focus on four shades next year instead of five. I think that will just help me make a little bit more progress in my pen palette. I know it's only five uses on one additional shade, but still, I think it's going to be nice to only have four in here so I can, I, I probably will feel like I'm making quicker progress here because it's easier for me to pick a shade that I use a little bit more because I'm not using those five uses for yet another shade. Um, and it will help me hopefully be able to help me focus on my pen up palette a little bit more because I can kind of pick my focus shade also a little bit based on what I'm trying to focus on in my pen up palettes. But let's talk numbers before 
we wrap up this video i've got my laptop right here so that might give you another glare from the bottom it's not too bad um first let's talk numbers as it comes to my pen percentage and then we're going to talk numbers a little bit when it comes to the eyeshadows that i managed to hit pen on throughout the year for a pen percentage i currently have 61 eyeshadows with pen last month that were 58 and as you could see, I hit pan on four shades here. I also hit pan in another shade that you will see soon in another project. So I don't really want to talk about it yet because I haven't updated on that yet. Um, you might have an idea if you know how many projects I actually have eyeshadows in still at this point. Uh, but yeah, I hit five new pens this month, which is really exciting. And I also finished off two shades in my Panda palette within like the month since my last update. So 61, five new pants, two pants that went away. So there's no pan in them anymore. That makes sense. I'm sure that makes sense to you guys. So 61 shades that I have pan in at the moment, uh, 483 eyeshadows that I have in my collection in total bring me to a pen percentage of 12.6 at the moment and I was at 11.9 last month also partly because I finished off an eyeshadow uh, my pen percentage went down even though I did not uh, like yeah I did not hit pen in anything last month I think but my pen percentage went down because I finished off an eyeshadow and I couldn't count the pen in that anymore and then now we've managed to bring it up by almost one percent in one update which is very exciting. Okay, then those were my numbers for the year. 12.6, that's where we ended. I started at 10.2 in January. So we went up with 2.5% pretty much while I finished off a few shades in my Pen palette as well. So not too upset <laughs> about that. Then like numbers for this project throughout the whole year and my whole collection first start my whole collection i did hit 18 pans throughout my whole collection in this year uh part of that was my pen and palette of course and then there were like one two three i think that i hit in other projects but this definitely is my main place where i hit pans and then my pen and palette a little bit as well my goal this year was to try and hit at least 12 pans and i managed to hit 13 in this project that's what my goal was for so I kind of wanted to like on average hit one every month. I managed to do one more. And the last four that I had <laughs> paneled like over the last month definitely helped with that because otherwise I would have been at nine. Uh, yes, nine. And I would not have made that. So that is good. And then lastly, on average, it took me 22.46 uses. So let's say 22 uses to hit pan, which is kind of what I was expecting as well, which is kind of what i've been seeing over the last couple of years so i know that when i get to the 20 uses mark most of the time i should be pretty close to pen but that's not always the case because the pen that took me the longest to hit pen on pen 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 this year was um a lighter shade in my 88 palette and it took me 40 times to hit pen on that one i think that was mainly because i was using a like brush that was covering most of the pen and I was just wearing it down really evenly so that took me 40 uses whereas the brown shade that I had pen in this time around in that 88 palette as well only took me 20 uses so that's quite a difference for even the same palette then the shades that took me the least amount of time to hit pan on both came from my NYX palette and that were the red shade I'm pretty sure and the green shade in that palette and those are both shades that I like using so I also know that I've probably been using them before I put them in the project already so that probably explains why 15 uses instead of like the 20 ish on average that I have for that specific palette as well um, so yeah that's everything I think number was numbers wise that I had to share with you guys uh, let me know what you guys think about my idea to do four shades for this palette. I feel like because there will be less to focus on, I can actually do more in this palette, if that makes sense. Because my attention won't be as divided and I will also have more time for my pen palette. But 
yeah would love to hear your thoughts i'm gonna keep randomizing this i know some people are also doing this with laney's prompts i know some people are also doing this where they pick the palettes and then they pick a shade from that specific palette but i think the fact that i do it completely random helps me be a bit more creative with uh the way i am panning because otherwise i will always pick the shades that are easier for me which like will help me a lot with getting to a higher pan percentage but it will in the end leave me with shades that maybe i don't gravitate towards as much so it would be nice i think to keep this random and just get new different surprising color palettes to work with okay i'm gonna leave it at that um first finale of the year we're really getting towards the end now yeah thank you guys very much for watching and i hope to see you in one of my next videos bye, -bye.